All right, guys, so I had trouble starting the pole saw this morning. Pretty sure I just flooded the engine, but we got it going. So much for that epic intro, right? All right, well, we're gonna go down into the woods today and clear out some more trails, and we'll see you down there. That cleared up rather nicely. Really didn't even need the pole saw too much to that section. A lot of it was just old rotten wood that had been there a while so I could just snap it off pretty easily. Got the creek right down here. It's flowing pretty well today. Old spring house of some kind. They had another one further up in the property as well. Obviously time has not been well to it. There's a couple springs coming through here. There's two or three springs up front. So we'll always have a good water supply if we ever needed it. At least get the toilet flushed, right? In an emergency. But yeah, we're gonna make our way up. You getting a little warm there? A little bit, yeah. It's a nice yeah. Day today. That's in the 60s today. It's December. But yeah, we're gonna start slowly clearing that path going up through there. Make some more loops. There's another path going up that way, so. We're pretty spoiled. Whoever had this property before either had it cleared and there's a bunch of tractors that made all these trails going through the clear all the trees out or they at least got some flat areas where we can just clean out where it's been overgrown over the years. <laughs> I'm just gonna go show them what we're working with. Oh, can't even get through here. <laughs> All right, so this is our monster to tackle. I'm not sure we're gonna get through it all today. Well guys, if you want a Pepsi can, wait, no, that's not what I was gonna say. This pole saw here, the steel HT131, I think is the model number. It has been a lifesaver. Obviously you can see how much help it is in the woods. And some of these we do have to kind of reach up on a hill. So if you had a regular chainsaw, you'd have to climb up the hill and cut it. But this one, you just kind of reach up there and cut it. So it's like if Deanna just shows you around here, see how it kind of banks to the right here. A lot of the trees are hanging over from the right there. So this allows me to cut it a little bit safer than getting up there on the hillside with the chainsaw and trying to cut it close up. So. This is really the last little chunk here that we have to cut through to get through our trail here, right? Yeah. So we trim through the other side already. Yep. So. It's a lot though. 
So gonna need some more bar oil, but that'll be a different day. Got most of it done today. Yeah, really liking the steel pull saw. It cleared up the entire driveway and needed to clear it. It's, like I said, it's been a lifesaver. It is a little bit heavy. <laughs> That's the one thing, that strap is the only thing I don't really like about it. It doesn't really alleviate any of that weight on you too much. It just kind of slides all over the place. So. Hey guys, here's a little bit of bonus footage. It wasn't really a good, accurate um, demonstration of our pole saw right here because it had a dull blade on it or dull chain. So I, actually it looks like I need to tighten that chain up a little bit. But I just cut this guy down with the pole saw and as you can see, it's fairly big. Unfortunately, as it was coming down, I didn't, I must not have undercut it enough, kind of stripped off as it was falling down. But I did buy some of this pruning seal, covered up obviously, I did not cut it as nice as that. But since this is actually a chestnut tree, and they're very rare, I'm going to be spraying this thing to hopefully protect this tree from any other diseases. Since it has survived um, the disease that has been plaguing chestnuts throughout this country. But yeah, as I was cutting, I did get my chain caught in this and it kind of loosened it up here. So I need to tighten my chain down. Just loosen this bolt here, loosen the nut, Just make a couple twists of this guy. Might have actually over tightened it there a little bit. No, it's it's actually pretty good. We'll, we'll show you some good pulse all demonstration here of what the, a sharp blade can actually do on this thing. <laughs> As you can see, with the sharp blade, it makes this look like it's butter. Cuts right through this thing. This is probably, well, it's not really, it's an oval shaped, but it's kind of, I'd say the widest spot is about four to five inches. So pretty nice pole saw. But yeah, Dan is coming out here to help me. My dad actually got me this awesome Trail Boss um, Tomahawk from American Tomahawk Company, cold steel. It is made in Taiwan, but man, this thing is nice. I just went through a couple of these limbs and you can use this to chop down some smaller trees and clean off your tree as you after you get done pruning it. I mean, obviously you can do that with the chainsaw too, but this can be a little bit more fun. And this was the Christmas present Deanna gave me. I ended up getting a steel MS-250 as well. So we got the HT-151 pole saw and my real cleanup crew, the MS-250. It has an 18 inch bar on it and it has about three horsepower. So we'll definitely get everything we need to get done around this property, I believe. I mean, there's gonna be some bigger trees, but for the most part, this should be able to handle what we have. So yeah, the main reason we're cutting this branch down is those overhanging where we're gonna be putting the barn. I'm kind of recording this in reverse order. You can see the flags out here. So we're gonna be putting a barn out here, starting to clear back the brush and everything. Gonna to have to haul in some dirt and some gravel to level things out. We're gonna have a fairly sizable barn because we don't have a whole lot of storage inside for outdoor stuff like lawnmower and cans of gasoline <laughs> and tools, so. We're going to be putting a little shed out here to store that stuff. Well guys, I got up in there and I sprayed all that gunk inside, but obviously that's a pretty bad wound. It kind of ripped off as I was cutting it rather than going through smoothly. I'll probably end up cutting this whole thing down. I just didn't want to because it's a American chestnut tree, but see how much it leans over. So yeah, if we put a barn over there, there's a chance it could fall on it. And now's probably the time to cut it down, but 
I'll have to think about it a little bit more, see if I really want to do that or not. I just don't want to cut this away and end up injuring the rest of the tree. So you can see how much it leans over. We may end up just pushing the barn back a little bit so I don't even have to worry about that. Then we have to worry about this. <laughs> Big old dead tree falling at some point. We'll see. We'll see. Well guys, if you like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like it. You can also check us out at dnsadventures.com. And as always, adventure on. All right.